Well, hello, people, and welcome back to Space Astronomy. It's your favorite monkey here, Cool Monkey Smash Keys. Huh? Let's actually change my hat again. Ah, uh, we did the squid. We did... I love it. Oh! It's like a... It, but it's a soda can top hat, which is strange. I always seen, like, the... Almost the worker hat. A hat for... Worker... Hard hat. Oh, man. What the hell? I'm just... I feel... I feel... I feel like somebody's watching me, and I got no privacy. Uh, so what we were doing was we were doing lava, kind of stockpiling some lava. Actually, you know what's better is the upgraded version of the drum. And I think, again, block for block, this is the most efficient way to hold fluids, maybe? I mean, applied energistics might have cells, fluid cells, but you can hold 65 million millibuckets so that's sixty-five thousand regular buckets right and all it costs is cauldron gold and three bedrockium ink or six bedrockium ingots so a little bit expensive right so six bedrockium ingots would be six blocks of diamond each made out of four triple compressed cobblestone with four quadruple compressed cobblestone um actually is there a way to make it because we're we're cheaty people oh you could use mimicite to turn your octuple compressed cobblestone into two blocks of better occium ingot so what is that let me let me do the math real quick so the math doesn't quite work out in your favor because to make a block of bedrockium uh, the other way, two blocks of bedrockium would cost you 5, 578,000 cobblestone. But then I guess it would also cost you 18 blocks of gold. Whereas this one's 43 million. So, eh. Whichever, whichever is easier for you, right? Okay, let's put on our stuff. And figure out what we're going to do today. It was Ender IO. That's what we were going to do. So let's get some stuff out of my inventory. Like so. Let's keep this with us. There we go. Okay. So what we were going to do is we don't need this. Is all of this. We don't need this. What? Don't put some stuff in my inventory. Okay. So, a couple of things we need. I did, what we're going to do is we're going to use the Sterling Generators. See? The Sterling Generator to create lava power. This is by far the most efficient. I tested Extra Utilities Lava Generators, Ender IO's Sterling Generators, and IT, IC2's Geothermal Generators. And right out of the gate, the lava generator from, can I just... Lava gen. This lava generator per eight buckets will make you 320k RF at 40 RF per tick. So pretty good, right? Not the worst. And then geothermal. This bad boy right here. A little bit, you know, cheaper, I guess. Two iron. Three iron. Five. <laughs> so it's a bit of iron. But this thing will may net you 327 thou. RF per tick. I mean, sorry. <laughs> 320,000 RF at 80, 81-ish RF per tick. So that's a little bit better. More power, more power faster, which is best. And then the uh, Ender IO Sterling Generator. Sterling. The Sterling Generator, which is by far the most cheapest. Remember, we did that math before. It'll net you... 1.6 million RF per tick. Uh, quit saying per tick. It'll net you 1.6 million RF at 20 RF per tick. So it's slower, but by far more power. And this is where we got to kind of, we got to, I had to kind of ask myself, I look ridiculous. Oof. This is where I had to kind of ask myself, do you want more power production or more power overall? Like the slow burn. Because the idea is that for 
every one geothermal generator, like what's better is efficiency or production, right? Because for every one geothermal generator, you'd need, you know, four sterling generators to, to match it. And that doesn't really ramp up because you could really quick have a stack of these sterling generators in operation. And, you know, that kind of starts to weigh on piping, on lag. You start to, I'm always worried about lag for some reason. Because, you know, I like, I like going the long haul. But I forgot the sterling generator. In fact, I'll even show you. Right here. Meh. The sterling generator. Octatic, they're the capacitors. A double layer capacitor gives you 2.7 times the efficiency, and an octatic capacitor gives you 5.3 times the efficiency. Now, how, what does that work out to numbers? With the first tier capacitor, you get 4.2 million RF at 40 RF per tick. And then the second capacitor, you get 8.5 million RF at 80 RF per tick. So right out the gate, we're going sterling. The only problem is it doesn't take direct fluid, so you can't pump it via pipes. You have to put it in through buckets, okay? And there's a couple of ways to put buckets into it, buckets of lava into a sterling generator. Uh, one is by hand, by far not the best. Second is by hoppers, which is an option. I mean, you can have a stack of sterling generators and a stack of hoppers feeding into each one. And the hoppers will pull from each other. So as they get full, you know what I mean? Like, it'll be okay. It'll work out. That is an option. We also have, what did I test? I tested the, you know what? In fact, it'll do, it'll be easier this way. So there's the casting table, which works. You don't need to build the whole casting table. You just need to build the drain and the table. And then you need a redstone clock to kind of click the lava out. But that works, requires no power, a little bit slow. That's the only concern. Second way is the autonomous activator. The autonomous activator, again, requiring power. Oh, I don't need to. Hmm. I was doing it the other way. The autonomous activator, cheap requires power and but it requires a little bit more piping because then you have to tell the autonomous activator and that's what transfer nodes come in for and you can have a filter as well but i don't need it uh the filter you can tell one transfer node to pull out full buckets and then another transfer node to dump in empty buckets so then the buckets just kind of keep cycling through like that it requires a little bit of power not the worst the third option, and I think I'm going to use it just for uh, trans, transposer. There we go. The, the third and final option is the fluid transposer. It again costs power, but much less piping, much less work in the long run. Do I have a bucket with me? Of course I don't. Why would I have a bucket? I'm never prepared. So we should be able to bang this out, bang. Perfect. So that's that's it. Let's head down and we'll set it up down here, our power, and we'll just wire it up later. Okay, so here's how it's gonna go. The ender tank is getting the lava, right? Lava's coming in. And then we want the ender tank to get lava from the bottom. So we tell this to export. Bam, already starting to fill up, beautiful. Okay, and then what we're going to need is a, a bunch of buckets, but we don't need that many at the moment. So let's make some sterling generators. Bam, nope. Uh, let's make eight. I know, I know, that seems like a lot. And it is. But I mean, that way we can just, we can keep production ramped up. You know what I mean? Like we can just, we'll never have to deal with power again. In fact, let's do nine. Because then it looks nicer. Okay. 
So we need some extra utilities pipes. We have them. And we need some... I guess we're good on transfer node items. Oh, you know what we do need? Retrieval node. This I didn't plan for. So we need an emerald, two transfer node items, K. Okay. So let's do one of that. Do we have that emerald that was floating around? Hmm. Be right back once I go find that emerald. There it is. Perfect. Emerald. Why is there random stuff in here? Did I throw some? I must have threw something out. Okay. So, to get the retrieval node, it's a little expensive. But, I mean, honestly, it's, it's much more utilitarian, I think. So, there we go. Let's get that cooking up. Let's set up the in the the sterling generators so what we need is we need an area for them to get pumped into so we can just do it like this and of course you can make this look nicer okay so what we need is we need a transfer node that's spitting out filled tanks here okay see what i mean Bam, 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 bam. All right. It shouldn't, yeah, because there's nothing in the front, so it's not going to be able to accept stuff back in. But then we need a retrieval node. You're done. Right here. Okay, and then what that's going to do is we're going to tell it in. Okay. And what we want, oh, we do need that filter. I knew we needed the filter. Okay. And let's make a bunch of buckets. In fact, you know what? We don't need that many. Even a stack would be more than enough. Okay. So we, what we want, we're putting an item filter. We want the retrieval node to find buckets. Okay. So what it's doing is it's slowly scanning this whole, all these pipes looking for empty buckets. And this one we don't care about. It, it doesn't need to be filtered. So we're going to throw a bunch of buckets in here. And in fact, let's kick start. Oh, we need to wire it up. That should be important. Uh, do we have any more? Yes. Uh, more of that. Okay. And then what that's going to allow us to do is get power to this thing and then we need to prime it just with one should be okay there so see it already it already pulled the bucket back out so now it's filled up that spot so the moment it's getting buckets the buckets are dumping into the transfer node and then the transfer node searching for a place to put them see there we go so now that's in essence, the basic power of the thing. And really, these last a while. So you don't need any upgrades, you know, speed upgrade, stack upgrade, forget about it, you know? And in fact, yeah, ultimately what it's gonna do is it's gonna have a f one burning and then one queued up ready to go. See? So it's gonna be, what, nine? So there's gonna be nine filled ones, eight ones waiting to go, and then one lava bucket going. So let's. Let's head out of here. Now, what else do we need to do? Well, for the upgrades, we need a capacitor. We need to make nine of these. But right off the bat, we don't need nine. That's definitely not what we need. And in fact, I guess I didn't need all those. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's hold our horses there. So, right off the bat, oh, come on. I just, I get so excited. I'm like, let's do this right now. Let's, let's, let's go crazy. You know what I mean? Let's go crazy. So, let's uh, do this. And they hold their power, which is nice. 
there. So these ones will slowly build up a buffer there. So right off the bat, all of this is making 180 RF per tick, and it's going to make a whole bunch of power, right? But what we want is the capacitors, which you need with a bunch of things. But what we need right off the bat is not an induction smelter. We need an alloy smelter. So alloy, alloy smelter, okay? So we need a cauldron. We need some iron bars and we need basic capacitors. I think I needed mm, two, I think I needed four stacks. That's all I need. Cause I need to make, I need to make a couple of these anyway. So psh, might as well, right? Make a stack done. Okay. So basic capacitor. Machine chassis, I think I just need one. And I need some of these. Alloy smelter, done and done. And what the alloy smelter does is it allows you to do a lot of stuff, but I mean, all we need it for is these, I mean, these alloys are useful in other ways, but what we want is a stack of redstone, a stack of glowstone, and a stack of gold. Gold, glowstone. So what that's going to do is that's going to slowly cook up a bunch of energetic alloy. And then we need to continue on from there. But while we're waiting, we also need to pulverize up some coal. Why do I have a osmium? Mechanism. Oh, I remember it was solar panels. We were going to do solar panels because that again, solar panels, another great way for power. So let's hold up while I get a couple of these cooked up. And again, oh, you can throw the, you can throw capacitors on here as well. Speeds it up, makes it more energy efficient, but we'll be right back. Okay. Finally, that took a lot longer than <laughs> I would have liked, but that's okay. That's not so bad. Um, 16, is that going to work? Like, look at it. Look how slow it goes. Oh, my goodness. It's going to give me an orange one. Once it decides to click over. Oof. So the next idea is quickly to speed this up. Because it's really slow. But we can actually get started on the other stuff right this second. So uh, we have a bunch of capacitors. Double layer you get pulverized coal. And there's a bunch of different ways to pulverize coal. The easiest way, throw it in the pulverizer. I mean, Macerator does it, and a lot of the recipes do do it right. So is this enough? I think. I'm just worried. Okay. So there. So now we have... Okay, yeah, yeah, that's right. So now we just need to wait for these ones to cook up. So... Be back and again, like, oh, like five minutes. But I am getting stuff ready for the next episode, so it's going to be another quick one once this is done. Oh, man, finally. Oh, oh she's been... So, capacitor. And we need the... Uh, octatic. Which requires glowstone, the green things, double layer, bam. Nine. are always barking in this freaking apartment like crazy anyway so now we can put these back come on there we go and in the process of putting them back let's get rid of this one bam 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 What am I doing? Look at this, bam, 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 and bam. And you can actually see 
could I get a lava bucket, please? Thank you. And you can actually see, it'll tell you down here, it says generates 1,066,000 RF at 80 RF per tick. So now we have more power than we'll ever really need to do. Like, what is that? Nine times eight. I can't believe I need a calculator for this. Nine times 80, 720 RF per tick. And as you can see, it's like 11 minutes per bucket. So, I mean, this is whole system is taking nine buckets every 11 minutes. Much, much better at power production. In fact, you know what? In the long run, there's a uh, MFR block that creates lava. Where are you? Lava fabricator. See, so it takes 200 RF to make it like it, 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 it sucks a lot of power, but I think I'll test to see if it's better. In fact, it might, like you still might get a net increase by using the lava fabricator to make lava. Like if, if it takes really, like if it takes less than a million RF to make a bucket of lava, it might, might be something to look into. But we've been rambling on for far too long yet again. Don't worry. There's another episode coming tomorrow where we're going to show you what to do with all of this power. Hmm? Hint? It's a Tesseract. That's not a hint. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're building Tesseracts next episode. Oh, forgot to say goodbye. <laughs> Where's my manners? Thank you for watching and you have yourself a nice day.